Hi, my name's Fran and in this video I'm going to show you a little bit about how I operate my electrical system so that I can use my espresso machine, my blender and all of those sort of gadgets. Um, so I'll explain it in some detail and show you how I can do that without destroying my batteries. I've just been working on my computer and just coming outside to have a nice stretch and look at the weird dismal weather and going to make some coffee soon. I just filmed it making coffee <laughs> and for some reason the camera didn't record it. I don't know what its problem is um, but I've just made this coffee and I've foamed the milk and I've made coffee. I had the coffee machine running for about five minutes so let's have a look at my batteries. So this is straight after making coffee, it's not bad. While the element, the heat thing was running, sometimes being tall is not that great. I've got my tripod on that's absolute extension. <laughs> um, yeah, so while the heat element was running, it dropped down to about 13. I only make coffee when the sun shines. I'd never drink coffee at night anyway. And on really yucky days, I don't use a machine. Um, and that's how I keep an eye on my batteries. In order for my inverter, which is a 3000 watt pure sine wave, and no, it didn't cost a huge amount of money. It's off trade me, it was about 400 bucks. Um, and it is pure sine wave because with a non-pure sine wave, my blender hums when it's on standby. <laughs> Whereas with pure sine wave, clean power, it doesn't do that. So, But it's a cheap Chinese one, but it's the same brand as the one I had before that, which I had for years. And the only reason it died was because I took coffee in it by accident. So, no, that wasn't coping with the coffee machine at first. It kept squealing and beeping, yet the voltage in the batteries wasn't dropping. So I thought got to be a voltage drop in the cables so I ordered some heavier cables on trade me you could get them custom made there to whatever size length you want I installed those and bingo it started working but no I'm not killing my batteries I keep a really good eye on them because they're expensive you know um, and I don't want to wreck them so I do keep an eye on it when I first started using the coffee machine I would actually constantly check in with the voltmeter and have a look. The one I showed you before is just the one on one of my regulators. It's a little bit out, but I do have a proper multimeter, which I've checked it with too. And yeah, no, it doesn't seem to drain the living daylights out of it. But if I get up at five o'clock in the morning before there's been any sun and turn that thing on, I'm going to create problems. It's not for that. First thing in the morning, I drink instant coffee. Because my system, my batteries, my power needs to come up a bit before I put that kind of load on it. You know, I want the voltage to be on the fully maintaining at 14.2, 14.3, you know, when it starts just maintaining the battery level and slow charging. I want it to be there before I use the coffee machine. Otherwise, I just won't because it's too hard on the batteries. You know, they don't like being dragged right down. They don't tend to live very long if you do that. So, yeah, that's how I make coffee. And I also make smoothies. That is actually a replacement. My other blender died and it was still under warranty because these bigger blenders come with like, I think this one has a 10 year warranty. <laughs> they come with a good warranty, but they didn't make the same model. So I ended up with that one. Juicer. Yeah, I might put that in the cupboard at some point. I'm not making juice as much as I was. But, you know, that doesn't use much power anyway. The grinder, that doesn't use much. It's a messy little beast, though. Um, that was a story in itself, because I bought that second hand. It was on Trade Me, advertised by... Um, what are they called? They're porn brokers, anyway. <laughs> um, they, they sell stuff. And I bought it really cheap on Trade Me, and it ground too coarse, so I had to get some little shims, some little washers that go under the grinding burr because it's a cone grinder rather than a blade grinder. 
um, <clears throat> and have adjusted it and modified it and now it's a really good grinder that only cost me about 30 bucks so very happy with that <laughs> I don't mind taking things apart and having a go at them especially stuff like that that's not too expensive so yeah but yeah that's kind of how I run my appliances <laughs> I'm not willy-nilly with it. I'm not turning it on when I haven't got much power. Um, another thing I do, and a lot of people don't do that, but when I'm not using power for my laptop or mains power for anything, I always turn my inverter off. Because they do just take a little bit of power to maintain. And I just prefer to turn it off anyway. Um, there's no need to have it running when I'm not using any of it. So yeah. That's a little bit about my power system, so I'll show you a little bit about my batteries. I'll take you out there and we'll look at that. Okay, I'm not sure if we can see in here. I might have to do some adjustments. But this, can you see that? That's one of my new battery cables. I put them directly on the battery rather than on the joiner thingy so that they'd have the most power. But they're quite heavy duty. They're quite thick. So, yeah. And those are my batteries. That's a starting battery. <laughs> That's all it takes is one little battery. And, yeah, my two, two big ones. So, yeah. So that was a bit awkward filming out there in the battery box. But anyway, those cables, yeah, I ordered them to measure on Trade Me. I think I did search battery cables. <laughs> and yeah, um, they're heavy enough amperage rating to be able to supply all the power for what I use. Because two smaller cables just isn't going to work. So yeah, the system seems to be working well right now. Um, I'm quite happy with it. Um, I'm used to, I've been on the road for like, what, 21 years or something? 22? I have no idea actually, I've lost track. But when I first started on the road, power systems were rubbish compared to what we have now. I remember my first bus, I had one battery, no solar, and, you know, light bulbs that used a lot of power and stuff like that. Then when I bought this, it had one solar panel, 65 watt, which was a bit faulty anyway. It had a bit of a dodgy corner in it and a couple of batteries. The battery side wasn't too bad, but solar wise, but all the lights in here were halogen or yeah, normal light bulbs. So they used a lot of power. <laughs> and I remember running out of power quite regularly. That old solar panel put in about one and a half amps on a good day. <laughs> so it was pretty sad, but solar was really expensive back then, you know. Yeah, I remember an 80-watt 80, 80 panel used to cost about twelve or $1,300. So <laughs> people weren't rushing out there and putting heaps of it on their vehicles in general. Um, and as they got cheaper, I upgraded. I increased the solar on the roof. I've flown the drone over my roof to show you my solar which is, is a thing in progress you know it wasn't something if I'd done it all at once I would have done it differently <laughs> but I didn't I did it bit by bit so yeah I started out by adding an 85 watt panel then a year later I added a 120 watt panel and got rid of the old decrepit 65 watt or whatever it was it was small threw that away <laughs> because it really had was had it, it water had gotten in behind the glass and yeah it had problems so I did that and I thought that was great you know I all of a sudden had about 200 watts <laughs> which was pretty nice then I was down south I remember I had it cleared to Christchurch my 250 watt panel the big one and I put a separate regulator in for that one because it's quite different voltage and everything um so I put that in in Christchurch it was so funny I'm trying to get that monster on the roof um I had to borrow a couple of guys I was at the NZMCA park at Whedon's and I had to borrow a couple of guys to pass it up to me while I was on the roof um 
so yeah all of a sudden wow i had all the solar and then yeah just recently if you saw my video i found well i got a free panel it's about 90 95 something like that yeah apart from that night time i don't use a lot of power i don't use any of my appliances i don't make smoothies at nine o'clock at night or when it's dark and there's no battery no solar happening so yeah that's kind of how i manage it and that's how it seems to work for me and it does work really well so yeah that's pretty cool and miss fiends agrees she's gonna attack me but i wouldn't recommend you do this late at night run a machine with a heating element no way don't run it late at night um, or on really horrible days and if you've only got a really small house battery be careful of the only AGM so I've only got about 200 amps usable but they're 400 amp hour batteries so I've got a little bit to play with um, I've always looked after them so they're doing good they're actually still in good nick um, as far as their capacity is concerned so yeah just be a bit cautious anything with a heating element be cautious when you're using it yeah I would love an air fryer but no <laughs> the reason I can get away with using the coffee machine is because it only runs for about three minutes and it's done okay it takes about a minute to heat up to temperature to make coffee and then it takes about a minute to spurt out the coffee maybe another minute or two minutes to froth the milk and all, all up we're done in three or four minutes and that's not very long whereas an appliance like a um, one of those electric pressure cookers or an air fryer or something you know you're going to have them running for 20 to 30 minutes or something and that's a lot longer and that's going to put a lot more drain and draw on your battery so you want to have a really good healthy battery bank if you're going to use one of those because it's a longer high wattage voltage uh, wattage not voltage wattage drain you know it's pulling a lot of amps <laughs> and yeah that can deplete your battery even when the sun is shining so as much as i'd love something like that because i do like gadgets um <laughs> i've no i won't because my battery's health is important um i want them to last so yeah anyway cheers <laughs> here's my coffee which I made for you on camera, but the camera decided to stop filming, so I'm going to drink that now. Anyway. So yeah, this video was just a quick overall how that all works for me with the power and stuff because I was getting a few messages of people getting quite wound up that I was doing all these bad things and shouldn't be doing that and blah 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 and, and it was just, I thought I'd make a video about it rather than individually explain it to everybody and say look this is how I do it, this is how it works and it does work. So anyway, thanks for watching lots and lots of love to you all out there keep safe have fun enjoy the journey and see you all next time